Shalom. Welcome back. Let's get back into the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, beginning at verse 1, all the way down to verse 10. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 1. You got your Bibles? All right, let's begin. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus, Timotheus, unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, the Apostle Paul, who is a disciple of Jesus Christ, he is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. He's ministering to the Thessalonians. He has Silvanus and Timotheus with him. Uh, they're both Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Now, Silvanus and Timothy, I believe they're of the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that were scattered among the Gentiles. So that's what you have to understand when you're reading and studying the scriptures. In the book, the, the, the epistle to the Thessalonians, the Thessalonians are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, of the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that were scattered among the Gentiles in Thessalonica. So they're called Thessalonians, but they are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the ten tribes that were scattered among the Gentiles. They're they're not the original Gentiles mentioned in Genesis chapter 10, the Japhet Gentiles. They just scattered among the Japhet Gentiles. <laughs> so that's what people don't understand when they study in the scripture. They see Gentiles and they think it's Japhet Gentiles. But most of the time in the New Testament, it's talking about the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that are scattered among the Gentiles. They're Hebrew Israelites. And so that's how you have to keep the scriptures in context. If you don't, you take them out of context. And that's why a lot of people are confused and deceived. In your 501c3 corporations, the Antichrist church system, pastors, preachers, and teachers, they don't take the time to explain who Israel is or who the Gentiles are. And so the scriptures, if the blind lead the blind, they're both going to fall into the ditch. And so that's why we have these different denominations and religions. Uh, Christianity. Jesus didn't come to start a religion. He didn't come to start Christianity. He came to save his people from their sin. From, from Genesis to Revelation, Jesus came to save his people from their sin. Jesus is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Judah, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin called Jews. And so uh, people just take the scriptures out of context and come up with all kind of crazy stuff. And like I said, that's why you got Christianity because people think Jesus come in and save everybody. But that is not, that's not backed up in the scripture. Jesus only come to save his people who are Hebrew Israelites. And when I talk about Hebrew Israelites, the people over in the land called the nation of Israel, they are not Hebrew Israelites. They are not of the seed of Abraham. They are not of the tribe of Judah. They are not the descendants of Abraham. Those people are Ashkenaz, Khazarians, Japhet Gentiles. The scripture calls them the synagogue of Satan. They say that they're Jews and they do lie. They are not God's chosen people, but since 1948, everybody in the whole world thinks that <laughs> that's Israel. But Israel, according to scriptures, is a scattered people. We're scattered throughout the earth, and that's why the Lord is coming back to gather us from all the places that we're scattered. So this is what you have to understand when you read and study the scriptures. When the Lord sent Paul to minister and preach to the Gentiles, he was sending him to minister and preach to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham that was scattered among the Gentiles. They were no longer referred to as Ephraim or Israel. They were referred to as 
Gentiles because they had sinned against the Lord. And so the Lord said, you will be as unto, unto me a, a vessel of no pleasure. So they were no longer referred to as Israel or Ephraim, but they were referred to as Gentiles or uncircumcised or whatever location where they were living. In this case, Thessalonica. So they're referred to as Thessalonians. Verse 2 says, We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. So he was letting them know in this epistle, it's a letter to the Thessalonians. It's not to everybody else in the whole wide world. This only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. It doesn't apply to all the other people in the world. That's what you have to understand about the scriptures. It's to, for, and about a specific people, God's chosen people. It's not to, for, about everybody else to, for them to apply to themselves. But that's what people have done. They tried to apply the scriptures to themselves, but it does not apply to them. It only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, God's chosen people. So he said again, we give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Verse 3, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. So Paul is letting them know we were remembering without ceasing your work of faith. Faith has to have works or else it's dead. So they were laboring, the labor of love. Faith and love work together. And patience of hope. Jesus is our hope. <laughs> the hope to come. in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the sight of God and our Father. And that's how we have to understand God. He is our Father. Father God. God the Father. People just say God, but he's actually our Father. Whose Father? Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. God chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why he's called the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. <laughs> he's the God of Israel, the Holy One of Israel. He's, he's the Father. Jesus is the Holy One of Israel. Verse 4, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. God has elected and chosen a certain people. He didn't choose everybody else in the whole wide world. He only chose Israel. So the election is Israel. But Israel have to believe. Just because you're Israel, you don't get to go into the kingdom of heaven. You got to have faith. Abraham had faith, and God accounted that to him for righteousness. So if Abraham had to believe and have faith, all of Israel have to believe and have faith. If you don't have faith, then you're not counted as Israel. <laughs> so that's what people do. They take the scriptures out of context, and now they think there's some spiritual Israel. There ain't no spiritual Israel. Either you are Israel or you're not, physically. <laughs> But the physical Israel have to have faith in the Lord. They are the election. That's when Jesus comes back. He's only coming back for Israel. Verse 5. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance, as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sakes. So he said, that when we preach the gospel of the kingdom unto you, it, the word came, didn't come only in power, I mean word only, but it was in the power of the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. And that's what I'm trying to help you to understand who the word of God is to, who, is, who the word of God is for. Uh, shalom, Zoma, I see you. Shalom. All right, so the word of God is for Israel, the people God has chosen to be his own people. That's who it's for. As you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. So they 
only preached to Israel. They didn't preach to anybody else. Verse 6, And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. And so when Paul was ministering and preaching and teaching the word of God with the help of Silvanus and Timotheus, uh, a lot of people started believing the word of God and following uh, the teaching of Paul. So he said, you became followers of us and of the Lord Jesus Christ, having received the word in much affliction. So no matter what uh, Paul and the other brothers had to go through, they preached the word even through affliction and with joy of the Holy Ghost. And so that's what we have to do. Even the people that's hearing and receiving the word, you're going through different trials and tribulations in your life, but the word of God come to give you strength and salvation and hope. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 7 so that ye were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. And so Paul is letting the Thess Thessalonians know that because of your faith and belief in the Lord, you have been examples to the other believers in Macedonia and Achaia. You got to understand, Israel is the church. Israel is the body of Christ. <laughs> That's it. People say all kind of other crazy stuff, but Israel is the church. Israel is the body of Christ. People want to talk about the people that's grafted in. That's Israel that's grafted in. There are, 10, there are 12 tribes. They were divided into two separate kingdoms. The northern kingdom of 10 tribes, the southern kingdom of two tribes, Benjamin, Judah, and Benjamin. That's the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom was ten tribes. But they sinned so bad against the Lord, the Lord scattered them among the Gentiles and told them, you're not my people anymore. <laughs> but now they've been grafted back in as God's people. It said in the scripture, the people that word it was said unto them, you're not my people. To them it, it said, you shall be called the people of God. So the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel are being grafted back in. It's not everybody else in the whole wide world. That's what people don't understand. So that's why they say, well, what about everybody else? Jesus came to save the world. Jesus came to save his people from their sin, Israel. Verse 8, for from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God's word is spread abroad so that we need not speak anything. So the Thessalonians, their faith in the Lord, everybody heard how they followed the scriptures, they obeyed the word of God, and testified of the things of God and, and, and their faith, how they lived toward the Lord. So Paul said, we didn't have to say anything. Everybody had already heard about y'all, how y'all living your life toward the Lord. And so that's how we're supposed to live every day our life unto the Lord and not unto ourselves. We've been bought with a price. Verse 9, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols and serving the living and true God. So it's explaining to you that they are the ten tribes of the northern kingdom. It said that you're turning to God turning from idols. And so the ten tribes of the northern kingdom, they had turned from God and they were serving idols. That's why the Lord scattered them abroad, all the ten tribes. And now that the Paul, the apostle, is preaching and all the other disciples are preaching to the Gentiles, the Gentiles of the northern kingdom, of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered. That's who they're preaching to. They're turning back to God. So that's who the word of God is for, and that's who the word of God is to, to serve the living and true God. God is the God of Israel. <laughs> He's not the God of everybody else in the whole wide world. Go back and just reread it and study the Old Testament. 
when the Lord delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt, and they were going through, and the Lord was going to give them the promised land, they had to destroy all the other nations that were in those lands. And Jericho heard about what the, the Lord had did, dried up the Red Sea, and the children of Israel came over on dry land, and uh, how the Lord had destroyed the other nations before Israel. And Rahab, she was a harlot. The two spies went into her house, and she hid them. And she said, yeah, we know that y'all are coming. We know that the Lord has given the, the, the land into your hand, and he is the God of heaven and the God of earth. Your God is God. <laughs> so all the other people of the world knew who God was. God was the God of Israel, and he's still the God of Israel. Now, Rahab was saved, her and her family, because they helped out the spies. And so that's how everybody else in the world can get in in the kingdom of heaven by recognizing who Israel is, that we're the chosen people of God. But a lot of people don't want to do that because Israel is a, is a people of dark skin. We're, we're, we're a people of color. That's who Jesus is coming back for. We're marked. <laughs> And the, we're, we're the wheat, and so the wheat is brown in the tares. And so the tares are going to be bundled up and thrown in the fire. <laughs> but the wheat are going to be put in the barn. So we're God's chosen people, but we have to believe the word of God. Verse 10, and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. So Jesus, he came from heaven to save Israel and to wait for his son from heaven. And he's coming back the same way. He was lifted up in a cloud. He told the disciples, the angel said to, to the disciples when Jesus was lifted up, the same Jesus who y'all see lifted up, he's coming back in, in like manner, in a cloud. <laughs> so we're waiting for Jesus to come back, who, who God raised him from the dead. Even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. There is a wrath that's coming, but we are delivered from that wrath. That wrath is coming up on all of other people of the world. And Jesus said who, who the wrath is for. He said, just like it was in the days of Noah. Only Noah and his family. His wife, his sons, and their wives, they were the only ones saved. Jesus says it's going to be just the same way. Jesus is coming back for his family, Israel. That's all he's coming back for. And then he said the same way it was in the days of Lot. Only Lot and his family were saved. Well, him and his two daughters, his wife was saved, but the angel told him, don't look back. She looked back and became a pillar of salt. But everybody else was destroyed. Even in the days of Noah, everybody else was destroyed. Jesus said it's going to be the same way. But he said we are delivered from the wrath to come. Israel, God's chosen people, we are delivered from the wrath to come because we believe the word of God. We accept it and we live by it and we do what it says. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Shalom.